don't know what they found with Cherry Beach here, but there, there's a whole bunch of modular fencing that's been put up. I'm not sure it's for the movie shot. Even down by the beach there is fencing. And both sides of the bicycle trail are fenced in. I've never seen it like this, so I don't know really what's going on here. This area is normally a lot busier. It's downright deserted down here. Don't quite know why. Now there's some major earth moving going on on this side. I've got no clue, I don't know, maybe Toronto has finally started its waterfront revitalization projects. People have certainly been talking about those for about 30 years and nothing much has happened. Here, I believe it's one of the sailing clubs, because this is a popular area for sailors. And uh, the fencing stops in this area. I'm going to head eastwards now, continue on this path. If I continue on this path, I'm going to end up near Asbridges Bay which is going to come up probably in about 10 minutes. Uh, just a bit further east of here is the uh, wastewater treatment facility of Toronto. So occasionally we get some nice aromas emanating from that facility. Over here is the Westland Sailing Club. I'm not sure if you can see it. Right now at roughly 7 p.m. nautical clubs around here but like I say roughly 7 p.m. and the area is rather quiet so let's see what's gonna wait behind us or wait for us behind this corner let's see this guy's scared of a biker young joggers or walkers or I don't know what they're doing and on this side we're gonna reach an inlet shortly Lake Ontario is just on this side and uh, I don't really know what this plant is here I think if I'm not totally mistaken. Lots of industrial structures around here. You can see this pretty imposing building. Stack. It's still in operation. I have no clue what it is, but I guess I'll do some research about that. Further on, 